What's up, dudes? Uh, been a while since I did a video. Sorry, I know I always make excuses for it. Um, you can tell by my voice, though. Kind of going through a cold right now. I was out in the woods on this uh, bushcraft expedition. Kind of like a festival. It was like a three-day festival. And I was out in the woods and, I don't know, caught a cold. Uh, either way, uh, I'm back doing a review today. Today we're going to go over uh, small fixed blades slash EDC knives and neck knives. And it's going to be a light-hearted review. It's more of an overview than anything because I'm not really going to jump into too much detail on stuff just because uh, I'm going to do reviews on everything individually later. So, yeah, we'll just get right into it. Um, this is the Condor Mini Bush Lore. This thing has a battle horse knives sheath to it just because I uh, I kind of screwed up the other sheath that came with it initially. But this one's honestly a little bit better, I think, because it has the dangler attachment to it. So this thing can kind of sway back and forth on your, on your belt when you're carrying it. Initially, I kind of would put this into the, I guess I'd put this into the neck knife category. It's kind of, it's a scanty grind, but it's kind of the, uh, the little brother to the the regular bush lore by Condor. This is 1075 steel, but this thing's really cool. You've probably seen my review on it, but if you haven't, check it out because it's awesome. That one features the original sheath. This one is the slightly better battle horse knife sheath. All right, this one. Uh, just by looking at it, you guys probably already know what that is. This is the uh, Izula 2 by Essie. This is probably my most used small fixed blade. Um, I really love this knife. I can't say enough good stuff about it. I have yet to do a review on it. I'm just, I'll, I'll get to it at some point. I don't know why I haven't. It's just been, you know, it's been on me all the time, so I never really think to do it. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. This is 1095 steel as opposed to the 1075, uh, which is, this is slightly better. Um, I carry this thing all the time. Love it. It's got great, you know, feel in the hand. It's small, it's portable. It doesn't have a Kydex sheath, it has this like injection molded plastic, but I really like the belt clip because it's got that uh, scout style and you can switch it to however you want to carry it or you can carry it like a neck knife and just put a piece of paracord through there or whatever, jute twine. Cool knife, very cool. <clears throat> Next is my Spartan Enyo. This is... Mm, this is undecided yet. I haven't decided about this knife. Um, I do like it. I love the design. I love the shape. Very cool little fixed blade. Uh, this I carried around this in my pocket at work all the time just because you can't really have a scout knife on you while you're at work, where I work anyway. So I put this in my back pocket just as is, no clip or anything like that. It has a, a little rubber belt loop so you can carry it inside the waistband. But yeah, this is a cool little knife. comes with uh, S35VN steel. And I got a really good deal on this. There is a review coming in the very, very near future on this one. Comes with Kydex. Very cool. Uh, um, this is this was kind of my my go-to for a little while. This is the Boker Pocket Buoy. That's what it's called. And this one's actually not even on the market anymore. You can't really buy this. There's a few left out there. I saw a couple on eBay the other day. You can still get them for around thirty dollars. Um, I love it. It's a three finger knife and generally speaking I'm not really crazy about three finger knives but this one has this little flat part on the back right there where my pinky is and it feels like a four finger knife just because it fits when I'm applying pressure. It fits really really well so I have no complaints on this. Not being a three finger knife guy I really do like this one. It's small, it's portable, inside the sheath it looks really good and this looks, it may look like junk kydex or whatever but it's really good. I really, really like this. I put this lanyard on myself, but this is a really cool knife, and it's 440C. And then I'm obviously going to do a review on that later, but this is super nice. I did a review on this already. That is my Schrade SCHF 16. I love this knife. You guys know I like the shape, the design, the way it feels, the G10, everything about it, minus the weight and a few other uh, trivial things. I already like, you guys already know, you've probably seen it. If you haven't, check it out. Love the knife, good design, good maker. Carried a lot. Uh, this is another one that I've done a review on. BK24 DS Kebar. Just love getting my hands on this thing. This is just, mmm, feels so good. Love that thing. 
Again, uh, injection molded plastic. This is something else. If you saw the review, you know it dulls the blade. Not real crazy about that. Still have yet to order the Kydex for this. I've just been busy. Uh, I make excuses. I'll just, you know, go ahead with that. Uh, D2 Tool Steel Paracord Wrap made by SE K Bar and uh, Becker Knives. So, great knife companies, three in one. Fantastic little knife. Go pick one up. Love it. Uh, this was my very first review. MTech 20 30 neck knife. Cool knife. Eh, in hindsight, it's a little small. This is a three finger knife, a true three finger knife, because there is nothing to grab onto for that pinky. It's super, super dainty, for lack of a better word. Uh, it does come with Kydex and a pretty cool ball and chain necklace. I still like this knife. I just obviously have uh, broadened my horizons as far as different knives and different stuff I like to carry. Plus, you know, it gets kind of old having to sharpen the 440 all the time. So, cool knife, nice little thing. This is a true neck knife. If I was going to ever say anything was a neck knife, this is a true neck knife because it's small, like real small. But it is a fixed blade. It is designed, not, per, for, for me, I think it's designed to be carried as a neck knife. And it's just for little small, you know, tasks, camp tasks, whatever you got going on. But still a cool knife. Really like that. This one is less cool. It's okay. It's cool. It looks neat right here as you're looking at it. It looks pretty cool. This is just a an M Tech uh, 444 knife. I'm not. I mean, I don't think they have a model name for it, but. It's just a it's a desert survival knife. That's what I think it was marketed as. And it's it's literally just a cut out piece of steel, a slab of steel wrapped with some sinew type leather. I doubt that's even really leather. I don't even know what that is. But either way, it has some jagged edges. And these are a little sharp, but it's really not not an issue. It feels pretty decent in hand, I suppose. Um the way I would probably carry this is a boot carry or something like that. It's a real small fixed blade. I mean in comparison, it's it's not a real big knife, and it's just like all the other M-Tech knives. Let's see. See, it's not too much larger than the Azula 2. So it's it's relatively small, but it is an M-Tech knife, so it is made with 440 steel. And, I mean, you're just you're getting what you pay for. This was probably 8 bucks. so. Uh, this one is kind of an interesting little gem that I, I stumbled upon. I'm really kind of in love with this at the moment. This is a LT Wright, um, LT Wright Knives. It's a, uh, what was it? It's the Frontier Valley knife. That's what it is. Yeah, Frontier Valley. And I really like this knife because they have a, another one. It's called a Frontier First, which looks very, very similar, but it's about an inch shorter in the handle, so it becomes a three-finger knife. This, I would say, for 90% of the population is a four-finger knife. Uh, it feels really good. Uh, this is A2 tool steel. And it doesn't have liners, but I really like the way it feels regardless just because it's kind of got a good swell to the micarta. And it's sharp. It's cool. It's nice. This is a really nice leather sheath. I think this is probably a little bit better than the Battle Horse Knives sheath. Um, it doesn't have the dangler, but it's just the stitching and it feels a little bit more sturdy. The only thing I have to say is that this knife is so small that when you put it in there, it literally just wants to kind of come out of there. But either way, it's this is more of a, I guess, a minimalist style bushcraft knife. Maybe small EDC. Probably not going to be a neck knife. But yeah, either way, loving this right now. This is super cool. I love this for EDC tasks. I've been carrying this the last week and a half, two weeks. I, you know, whatever. I've been switching them on and off because I'm in love with these knives at the moment. But this is a Survive Knives Necker 2. And this is definitely going to have a good, sturdy review later on. But this thing is awesome. It's CPM 20 CV steel. So it's really nice corrosion resistant stuff. But it's just, it's sharp. It, this thing is so crazy sharp. I just love this. And it's got these G10 orange liners. Again, I got a great deal on this. I definitely recommend it. This is great for. I would say primarily EDC use. I mean, this could be definitely a, a neck knife. It is, you know, this little clip, I have it scout style because I love scout style, but this could come right off and you could carry this just as a neck knife. It's This Kydex is very secure. It feels really good. Um, the knife itself, though, there's so many points of contact for grip. It just, it feels awesome. It feels so sturdy and you feel like you have a lot of control over this thing. So opening boxes and using this as like, 
Think of a knife slash box cutter. That's exactly what this is. It really provides service in both of those roles, and I would definitely consider this for that. Great knife. Last one on the 11 of my neck slash EDC knives. This one's kind of a, a newer model. This one, I don't think a lot of people know about this company. This is a White River Knives Backpacker. And they have a couple other designs that look very, very similar. They have G10 handle scales and they're a little bit nicer. But this one, honestly, it fit perfect for me. This is a kick-ass EDC blade. I'm gonna lean away from neck knives. You could take that off, again, scout style. You could take that clip off and it could just be a neck knife. And the Kydex is super, super high quality. It's thick, it's durable, it's, it's awesome. It's very, very nice. And this is an S30V blade, so this is exactly what I've been looking for. And I ended up buying this about a month ago. I haven't really carried it that much just because I've been using all these other knives, but this thing is, whew, this could be, oh, this could, you know, do a lot of different roles. Self-defense, EDC, a bushcraft. I mean, it's called a backpacker, so obviously they had a sort of hiking slash backpacking in mind when designing this blade, but it is awesome. Awesome. It's got this deep finger choil there. Man, this thing is sweet. Love it. So yeah, those are my uh, my knives at the moment. I've been going through quite a few, as you already saw, but I haven't really gotten around to using all of them uh, in great detail, but that will definitely be coming. You're gonna see some sweet reviews coming up here in the near future. But, that's what we got, gentlemen. 11 neck knives slash EDC knives. Uh, look for more detail reviews in the future. All right, fellas, I'll be back, uh, I guess, in the next week or two because I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks.